Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, Bonky Cook here, aka your Lonely Achievement God, continuing our achievement coverage of Lawn Mowing Simulator. This is the From Zero to One Thousand series. This may be our last episode, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I'm doing the recordings a little bit differently than I did my first time, so I'm not entirely sure if we'll be able to get anything or everything left into one final video, but we're going to do our best. We have 15 more achievements left, folks. We have the This first one is for uh, 250 ground check items, so we're almost there. We're about, what, uh, probably at like 212, 213, somewhere around in there-ish. Um, we have the last three valuables that we have to get um i think they're all in the tower garden or the westwell castle excuse me but i'll have to double check that one we need to drive for a total of 100 miles we're over a third of the way there but we will be grinding that out separately at the end we have to complete 100 contracts which we will get that without any issue. We have to own all original mowers. I believe that means that we do not have to purchase the Patterson mowers that they just put into the game. Um, so we'll double check that when we get to the point where we do this, but we're still a ways off from that. Have to purchase the fourth company headquarters. Have to train an employee from apprentice to expert. We're probably less than five days away from that. Uh, we'll we'll check on the progress when we get done here. We need to bring a company on the brink of bankruptcy back into profit. You may accidentally do this as we're going through here, but if you don't, I do have a surefire method that will get you that achievement later on in the video. And then we have seven secret achievements. Four of them are related to the challenges. One of them is for um, using a Toro motor or excuse me, using any American-made mower on the 4th of July. Um, Toro or Skag mowers work for this. We use a Toro motor. Unfortunately, we cannot do that this year. The 4th of July falls on a Sunday. That means we're going to have to go into our second year. Don't worry, I have a quick method for skipping ahead to the second year, 4th of July. We also have two, I believe, RP rank achievements remaining. So that's what we have left, folks. So we'll jump in here. We just finished the uh, size doesn't matter. I, th I think that's the phrasing for that achievement for using a deck size 50 centimeters smaller than what is recommended to complete a contract. So we're going to go ahead and skip forward here. Um, what we need to do is we need to go over to our knight and part exchange back down to Astiga. And then we're going to just check on our employee. So what happened here, now generally if you are hiring an employee and using them right away, it's going to take about 40 days for you to get uh, with the training to get your apprentice up to an expert however what happened here is we actually uh hired our employee almost a week before we were able to use them so our employment period is going to be a little bit higher than it has been for me in my experience but that that's what you're looking at between 40 and 45 days ish is a good estimate we're probably going to be like 46 or 47 or something like that by the time we get it but uh, it's just a matter of when you hire and if you use them right away and they've actually gone out sick or taken sick days and vacation days on us a couple of times so that's a, a random thing that you have no control over that so if that happens you might even be looking closer to 50 days but if they work every day don't call in sick and you use them right when you hire them it should only take you about 40 days of employment to get them to an expert um, what we're going to do right now folks is we're going to go over and purchase a, another uh, printed media advertisement just so we have a little bit of RP boost coming in. We might not be doing that every day here to get back up to three immediately because we are still balancing with paying off our loans. Um, we're going to go ahead. We got some pretty lucrative contracts here. We'll let someone take that one. We have Paddock C, which is recommended at 38. 
And we have the Jefferson Garden, which is overgrown. Well, we don't want to deal with the overgrown one because that will take forever. So we're going to take the Paddock C at Crossley Riding School. And just like before, do the ground check, Mo, and I will rejoin you when we're done. Welcome back, ladies and gents. It took us about 15 minutes or so to mow. So you're probably looking at 20 minutes for that contract overall with the Toro. We'll jump back into the menus here. Yeah, a good haul from all our contracts this week. And we got enough money that we're going to go ahead and purchase a second printed media ad. Just double check and look at our expert. We probably have a day or two left before they reach expert level. So we're just going to have our expert take care of that one. Excuse me, I apologize. We don't want, we want one of our experts to take care of that one. And we want one of our experts to take care of this one. And then... We're gonna have our expert to be take care of that one. And we're gonna go ahead and take care of the rear lawns at Crossley. You can get the two, uh, Valuable here if you haven't already. And we're going to jump right in, so I will rejoin you when we're done. Welcome back, folks. Less than five minutes to mow that one. paid off our loans so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go purchase one more advertisement because we have the funds to do so and now we have them maxed out for a couple of weeks which will give us hopefully up to the esteemed and into halfway through the esteemed rank to get toward the final distinguished rank Got a couple of really good contracts here, so we're going to go ahead and assign our expert employees to those. That's a stripe cut there. So we'll have our expert to be do that, and we are going to handle. We'll do the rear lawns again. Might as well. We're getting good RP for doing it. So once again, I'll rejoin you when we're done. So something I forgot to mention last time, um, and you may have noticed if you paid attention to the post-contract screen, is I actually did a, uh, a dumb and it didn't do the ground check last time. I, uh, I don't know what I was thinking. I was kind of in a fog when I got into the level. And I just skipped the ground check phase. It didn't cost us very much, but I think it meant the other employees didn't do the ground check phases either. So, um, and so that also means that the achievement for 250 ground items may unlock a little bit later for me than it might for you. But just wanted to point that out. I forgot to mention it to you guys and gals last time, and I will go away again. Back again, folks, four minutes, 30 seconds, new record, ram into the trailer on the way back in. This time we did the ground check. Got good money from everyone else. Look at that, ladies and gents, our employee is an expert. That will pop the zero to hero achievement for training an employee all the way up to expert level from Apprentice. It took 47 days, but like I said, um, that's the like longest you're, you should expect. If you are using them every day and have done your nine training 
sessions. Um, our employee decided to go out sick a couple of days and on vacation once, I believe. And we hired them uh, before we actually had a mower for them to use. So this is the higher end of the spectrum uh, as far as your employee reaching the expert level. It should pop a little bit earlier for you. With that done, though, our only goal now is to just keep bringing in the money so that we can pay off our loans. So we have two, two big contracts. What we're going to do is we're going to have, we ha now have three experts, so our experts can handle everything. We're gonna we're gonna do the garden at the Kingsbury house this time. And I will rejoin you when we're done. We're back, ladies and gents, just a seven and a half minute trek through that. Nothing else to really focus on except just completing some more contracts. Boy, these two at the front just won't go away for some reason. And we're not going to get any money out of anything this beca because of that. Well, I'm going to have... Our employees, the, those two, and we're going to do one of the litter contracts here. And I'll rejoin you when we're done. And we're back. Finally, some of our, uh, those other contracts went away. So we have, we're probably just going to handle another litter contract and we'll let our employees do the mowing. We'll just do the Dutchman's again and I will rejoin you in a bit. Another one down, ladies and gents, and we're getting close Doing all these litter contracts might get us the ground object achievement here. I haven't really checked, so I don't know. There it is. All hands on deck. Picking up 250 objects in ground check phases. So from here on out, you do not have to do the ground check phases if you don't want to. Um, it will save you a little bit of time. You do get a little bit of money from doing them. Um, all of your employees do. Um, but it's kind of up to you. If you don't want to, you don't have to. It will save you some time at the risk of a uh, hundred bucks each contract. If you think you can afford not to get that, then, you know, feel free. A um, hundred bucks per day, excuse me, because uh, across all four or five employees, you're going to earn probably a hundred bucks or so from doing the ground checks. So the lower bandstand garden has uh, valuable. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of that this week. We'll have someone else take care of the training field. We'll have someone take care of the orchard. I would prefer to have a uh, 
litter contract at the bandstand garden, but unfortunately we can't do that. Um, and since one of our employees is gone, we're, we don't need to have a fourth contract. We are going to go through and perform maintenance on all of our vehicles, though, because it did say that the skag is out of fuel here. And it's best to get it out of the way. Right now, we're going to be paying back our loans, I think, after today's work. So, do it when we know we have the money. So, I'm going to show you where the valuable is. And then I will be leaving you. So, the bandstand garden has, surprise, a bandstand. It's off in the distance here. Um, you can see there. And on the floor of the bandstand are some headphones. Someone dropped there. And that's it. Uh, feel free to do the ground check if you want, but if not, I will rejoin you when we're done. And we're back. Not really anything to be concerned about, so we're just going to jump right into some more contracts. Fortunately... They're mostly litter contracts, so not going to do us a whole lot of good. We're going to tackle the Dutchman's, and we'll have someone else tackle cafe area. And I will rejoin you when we're done. And we're back. Now again, at this point, um, if you wanted to, you could do mowing contracts yourself to work towards the 100 miles driven. Um, that's entirely up to you. As I said, I have a hands-off grinding method. That will go into more detail once we wrap up a few more of the achievements in the career here. But um, you could use the time you have to be r driving around if you would rather do that. But for now, we're just going to continue going through and doing the contracts as they pop up. Do another litter contract, and I'll be back. Another week done. We're going to go ahead and just take care of the tower garden litter contract here, and I will rejoin you when we're done. And we're done, ladies and gents. The tower garden here is just a large circular thing. It's very easy to just run in circles around the outside until you get all of your objects. So we'll go ahead and finish off here. And we got seven bucks. I still don't understand how any of the frickin' math is working here. But we've reached the penultimate RP rank for achievements. The esteemed rank. We only have one more tier to go. 
Um, once we get past esteemed rank 5, we reach distinguished rank. Um, that will be the end of all of our uh, challenges unlocked and the final RP rank achievement. At that point, we'll be able to do everything. We might also, at this point, be able to hire our last employee. which means we'll be doing able to do five contracts each week. So go ahead into the shop and purchase one more Stiga. So what we're gonna end up doing here, ladies and gents, is we're gonna tackle the litter. And we're going to have everyone else tackle everything else. And once again, I'll rejoin you when we're done. Another contract complete, ladies and gents. We may go into bankruptcy here. We're we're going to be close, I think. Oh, never mind. We prepay loans after Wednesday. Okay, that was my bad. So we're good. We're in good shape now. Well, the sloping garden at Westwell Castle will allow us to get a collectible, a valuable, so um, that will be, I believe, our penultimate one, and we're just waiting for the other contract to show up. I don't know if uh, I've seen it yet. So we'll just pass out these other contracts as... We'll go ahead and jump in, and I'm going to show you the valuable. Now, there are actually two areas in this level, and so you can start a contract in either one in order to get this valuable. Um, there's the sloping gardens, which is the side pack, and I or side part, excuse me. And I believe this back section over here is the formal garden. So you can see here, this is kind of where the sloping garden ends, and this is where the rear garden begins. It's either the rear garden, the formal garden of the, the castle, but on this third lion statue, someone left a camera, and you can grab that and turn it in. Um, if you've been lucky enough to follow along, or if you have your valuable uh, list up, you, maybe you've gotten the other one. I don't think I've seen the other contract, which is kind of rare. But uh, if you did, once we complete this level, you will unlock the 16 valuables achievement. Unfortunately, we've missed a level. Uh, I think I know which one it is, and which is why it's weird that we haven't gotten it yet. But... We're going to keep a lookout for that one popping up, and uh, then the achievement will pop for us. But this may be the final one that you need for your playthrough. And we may have missed a valuable, or I mean an object somewhere. This is actually one of my least favorite uh, levels for the litter contracts, because there's a lot of bushes that can hide valuables.
Man, I should have stopped recording so you didn't see me floundering here. <laughs> there it is. Hey, the uh, Lonely Achievement God is 100% real content. You see that guide makers aren't human just like you. Or, I, I'm actually a god, but, you know, I'm lonely. But anyways, we're back. Another contract done. We got 350 bucks for turning that valuable in, and we got all sorts of money from our other contracts. We paid off another week of loans. And now, again, our goal is just to continue paying off our loans. We still have three more weeks of payments before we can pay off our loans. Um, obviously, if you get the money, you can attempt to pay them off a little sooner. I think I covered this in one of our previous videos, videos too. Just make sure that if you pay off one of the loans, you still have 6000 bucks to make your next weekly payment. Because uh, otherwise you'll fall into bankruptcy. And while that's not a terrible thing, um, you just want to avoid getting too far into debt. So, But again, we'll... Uh, So we do have a litter contract, and that's what we'll take care of, and we'll send everyone else. Off to tackle the other contracts. And I'll rejoin you when we're done. Another contract down, we'll go back and turn it in, we'll get negative $16 for some reason, and then we'll just go on our way. For whatever reason, we're just not getting that other contract. I wonder if I just missed it at some point. That's weird. Hopefully it'll pop or show up for us for that final valuable. But anyways, uh, go through and figure out which contract you want to handle yourself. Um, the Garden Lawns is going to be the quickest, so I'm going to pick that one for us. And then we'll just... have our employees do the other ones. We do have one on holiday because they're lazy. Sorry, that's corporate America talking. But uh, we'll just skip the Jefferson Garden. That's not a real big one to miss out on. And we'll handle the garden lawns at 59 Coville. We're going to go ahead and get started and I'll rejoin you when we're done. Welcome back. You come back from vacation and call in sick? You son of a gun! Well, we're just gonna handle the litter contract then. And we'll have our employees handle the other ones. And I'll rejoin you when we're done. Another day done. Oh, that's a litter contract, so I guess we'll take care of that and we'll send everyone else out. Oh, actually, we need the 
I need the Patriot. And I'll be back. Another week or day down. I'm going to keep doing that. We're going to handle the litter contract and send everyone else out to do the other contracts. And I'll rejoin you when we're done. Welcome back. Sorry about that. Welcome back, ladies and gents. The Lonely Achievement God has returned with some news. So I took a little bit of a pause in between there. And uh, I confirmed the level that we have not gotten the valuable on. And that is 64 Coville Street. Um, and I do have to apologize. Uh, going back through... All of my footage, I did notice it pop up once and we skipped it. So it didn't trigger in my head that we needed to do it. So what we need to do from here on out is look for 64 Coville Street contract. And if we do ever get to that, then uh, we'll be able to pop the valuables achievement. We paid back our loans. So we only need to pay back 18k. We're going to repay one of our loans here and just get that taken care of. So next week we only repay seven or uh, 6,500, excuse me. And what we're going to do is just go back here and look for hopefully 64 Coville Street. Hey, there it is. It is a stripe cut, but we are going to handle it and get that last valuable. And we'll just have our other employees handle these other lovely contracts at this point it doesn't really matter which one does which we have I did that again didn't I yep unfortunately we are gonna have to give one of them our Toro motor so we'll give them for the very small lawn to make it a the most miserable possible so they don't enjoy themselves okay let's go ahead and jump in we're gonna show off the valuable this will be the 16th and final valuable in the i'm just gonna run to it right off the bat in the gazebo back here on the back of the gazebo someone left i believe it's just a closed laptop and there it is. That'll be the 16th valuable. I'm going to finish the contract and rejoin you when I am done. Welcome back, ladies and gents. Didn't take too long. Stripe cups are a little annoying because of how precise you have to be. But as you can see, we got 500 bucks for turning in the laptop. A decent haul when we move forward here. The law enforcement officer achievement will pop for handing in all of the valuables. All 16 of them. I do apologize for missing that contract earlier. It did show up once that I saw, and uh, I even mentioned it in the video. I was like, well, we're going to have the employee handle 64 Coville Street. We were dumb, but we, we fixed it. We're all good now. We're making bank... We're going to go ahead and just take a quick look. We still have 11 achievements for completing 100 contracts, driving 100 miles. We have to own all original mowers, purchase the fourth headquarters, bring a company on the brink of bankruptcy back into profit, and we should have six secret achievements. Four of which are challenge related. One of them is for uh, the final RP rank and one is for using an American mower to mow on the 4th of July. For the time being, we are essentially working towards paying off our debts and then we're going to spend a crap ton of money. 
we're gonna get a bunch of loans actually but for now we're gonna go ahead one more week see what we got here we got a litter contract that will probably just take care of that have everyone else do the other contracts We will run over and we'll fix everything while we're here. There we go. And now we can continue on. And I will rejoin you when we're done. Welcome back, ladies and gents. Another week done. What we need to do is just check on our print magazine ads, and we're going to have to refill all of these um, over the next four days here. So um, we're not going to be spending any money at this time. We're just going to continue going ahead with the contracts that we've had. Unfortunately, we got some more litter contracts popping in. As I mentioned before, the Sloping Gardens is the most frustrating litter contract in my opinion, so I don't recommend tackling it yourself. Let one of your employees handle it. We'll just jump forward another week. I'll rejoin you when we're done. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Another day done. We need to go in and purchase another round of the printed media ads. This should be your last round of doing so. Um, we just need to get up to this distinguished rank. So, we'll have two more days where we have to purchase those and then we'll be done. Um, something I forgot to mention, and uh, feel free to do this if you'd like, is more... Sometimes two stripe cuts will c come up at the same time. Excuse me. And now that you have five employees and five mowers, you have to have people doing five contracts. So it makes sense to turn one of these stigas into a second Skag Patriot 52 with attachments. Um, feel free to do that if you want. Uh, it's not really worth it for us so far. Um, it's kind of an optional step if you want to be super prepared, but uh, with paying off our loans right now, we can't really afford to do that anyways. That's entirely up to you if you want to attempt that or not. Um, maybe once you get some more money, you can do so if that's what you would like to do. That's up to you, but feel free to upgrade your one of your stigas to the uh, Skag Patriot so that you have, like here we have a stripe cut, and if we have a second stripe cut pop up, then we're out of luck, but we did not. So I just wanted to bring that up to you guys and gals so you can make that decision as you go through. We gotta find the shortest contract. That one is probably, well, Jefferson is the shortest. But I don't wanna do the Jefferson. Jefferson's boring, we're gonna do Wildflower Hill. It's not much longer. If you're really going for the minimal time spent, you can feel free to have yourself do whatever the 
cheapest and fastest contract is. Jefferson Garden uh, is just pretty bumpy, so sometimes with the uh, with the Toro mower, you bounce all over the place and wind up missing patches of grass. So I'm going to stick to Wildflower Hill, which is, even though it's a hill, it tends to be a smoother cut. So I will rejoin you when we are done. Welcome back. We damaged a few flowers at the end, but... Yeah, we, it, we were like 12 flowers before the last section, but I threw caution to the wind to just get that last little percentage point. And we're going to run over to our loans. And we're going to repay one of them. And then we're going to buy another printed media advertisement. And we do have an employee that went on vacation, so keep that in mind. We have only four mowers available. So that will be the contract more than likely none of us does, but we're going to have to find one for us to take care of. You might just wind up doing Wildflower Hill again. Seems to be the quickest of the ones remaining. Did it again. Once you have your contract selected, feel free to jump ahead and I'll rejoin you when we're done. Welcome back as we ram into the side of the ramp. Did a little bit better on flowers, but I'm not all that concerned about it. paid back our loan and we just have one more payment to make however we're gonna wait another day to do that we're gonna purchase our final what should be our final printed media anyways and we're gonna go ahead one more week so unfortunately we got a couple of litter collections and we will take care of those while sending our employees do the dirty work. And I will rejoin you when we're done. Another week, or another day down. I'm just going to keep saying week for the rest of my life. We got the ad done, and we're going to pay off final loan here so with that paid off we're kind of in a position here where we need to upgrade our headquarters we need to purchase the moderna estate we currently have windsor garages so we have one hundred and seventy five thousand dollars and we need to get to 200 so we need twenty five thousand dollars to do that and we also need to purchase all of the rest of the mowers we don't have. That's going to cost us 56, 82, 104, 119, 129, 138. 142. 145 so it's going to cost us about 146,000 I do not believe we need to purchase the Patterson mowers if it, we do um, we'll run out of money we're going to do one more week before we do this though just to be safe so uh, We're going to handle the litter contract in the formal garden, and we'll have everyone else handle these 
other mowing contracts. And I will return to you when we're done. Just something that I feel like I should mention and I didn't before we started here. Um, this is attached to the sloping garden. So I showed you how to get the camera on the lion statue over here um, by starting in the sloping gardens. But you can also run over there if you haven't gotten it already and get it now with uh, this, what is it, the formal garden contract as well. If you weren't able to get the Sloping Gardens contract to show up before, and this is your first attempt, the camera would be sitting right on the lion there. So, just wanted to pop in and let you guys know about that. And we're done. We made it to a steamed rank 5, so one more, probably like 4,000 RP or something like that, will get to the final rank. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to the loan application and we're going to purchase 350 thousand dollar loans first thing we're going to do after is go to our purchase hq we're going to update or upgrade to the moderna estate which is going to get us the top of the mountain achievement for purchasing the fourth company headquarters and what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to the garage and we're going to purchase every mower that we do not currently own. So even though we've owned the night, we need to purchase that. And then we start with the Stiga. We can skip the Pattersons. Did it buy that or did it? Yeah, okay. Z Master 2000. That was weird. We're going to see if that's right. It says we still need two mowers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to purchase the two Pattersons and we'll see if that's what I still need. I'm not entirely sure. I'm guessing it was just delayed a little bit there and you don't need the Pattersons. But either way, um, we've unlocked the Mo Money... Or mo mowers, mo problems. Was that what it was? Mo mowers, mo problems. And that leaves us with nine achievements left for 100 contracts, driving a total of 100 miles, bring a company from bankruptcy back into profit. We need to get to the esteemed RP rank. We need to mow with an American mower on the 4th of July. And we need to do all the challenges. Those are the achievements we have left. Um, right now, we are focusing on the Phoenix Rises achievement for bringing, bringing a company on the brink of bankruptcy back into profit. We are um, going to have to go this entire week, and by the end of the week, so um, by the end of Friday, going into next Monday, we can't have more than $18,750. So we can still do contracts for the next couple of days and earn some money. But we want to try to target about sixteen dollars to $17,000 to have on us by the end of Friday. So all you're going to do is just keep doing what we've been doing, uh, having our employees do contracts. 
and earning money. Eventually, as I said, you're going to want to have your employees... Um, well, we need to make sure that we don't go over... The $18,000 mark. The reason being, if we go over the $18,000 mark, we won't fall into bankruptcy into the negative money. Um, and if we fall, don't fall into the negative money, we can't come back the following day, sell everything, and be in the positive. So what we're going to do is we need to just spend, do the next five days or so, doing our best to keep our uh, amount of money under $18,000. So just choose whatever contracts you want for the first couple of days. And after that, you may just skip a week or or a couple days just to make sure you don't get too much money. So for now, going to continue on with the contracts. I'll rejoin you when we're done. Welcome back. Another day complete. I said day that time. I'm so proud of myself. And again, just... Continue going forward. So I do want to go over something real quick. Uh, and we're just going to get this out of the way right now. Um, there is an achievement for driving for 100 miles in career mode. Now, as you can see, we've been mowing every week. Uh, or every week, see? Every day. Uh, other than when litter contracts come up, for the most part, we've primarily been mowing and doing our contracts every week. And we're actually at the end of uh, w having to physically do contracts. Um, we're almost done with what we need to do. Now, if you want to continue playing through the game and trying to get the 100 miles in career mode driven normally feel free i'm i'm here to just offer my opinion on a way to get to the thousand g as quickly as possible so my word isn't gospel you can do whatever you want but there is a way that you can grind this out hands off if you don't feel like doing it yourself and i uh, i'm going to show it to you now the reason being the contract showed up, sometimes it can take a while for the rear garden at Rally Manor to show up again in a regular mowing contract. So I'm going to show you the method I would use to do this. Um, we're at 48%, so we're not even halfway done considering how much mowing we've done. Um, what, we're two, almost three months into the game now. So you're looking at another three months of mowing almost every day in order to get that achievement so what we're gonna do and that doesn't include all the menu uh traveling and having to continue with financials and all that fun stuff of the career mode well so what i recommend doing is just starting up the rear garden at rally manor using your toro grounds master 3300 now you can do this now if you prefer you can wait until you're done with everything else but to be completely honest, it's not a bad idea to just get it out of the way now. You're not going to be doing too much more mowing uh, once we get into June even. So I'm going to show you the method now and I will refer you back to this method um, when we get later on because in, into the career mode. There's not too much more for us to do. But what you're going to do is start it up. Um, again, just let your... Other employees do whatever. I'm actually going to have her do this one. Okay. We're going to go ahead and get started. You don't have to worry about anything. We're actually going to skip the ground check. Just start driving. You don't have to worry about cut height or any of that nonsense. The achievement is for driving. So all you have to do is drive. I do recommend going in top-down view. And what I recommend doing is, number one, use a controller you're not worried about damaging. You're going to need a, a rubber band. and uh, Or maybe two if you'd prefer to do that. 
Uh, I use one rubber band and then I just lean the controller up against the arm of my chair until I, I have the vehicle going in a circle like this. Then I rubber band the accelerator so that I'm driving in a circle. Now, I do recommend trying to uh, rubber band and then kind of lean the controller. Sorry, it's a little difficult to set up, but once you get it set up, it's perfect. You want to have kind of a broad circle so that you're not turning too sharply because you don't want to run into a situation where you're damaging the ground constantly. You'll get penalized at the end of your contract. I think we have a pretty good circle here. And you just want to leave your controller like this. You can it, The accelerator is rubber banded. It's leaning up against something to continuously drive in a circle like this. And the circles aren't are wide enough that you're not damaging the ground when you're turning. So you're going to just leave this and go. You can walk away, take a shower, do some homework, watch some TV. You do some yard work, do whatever you want. You're looking at getting uh, 10 miles in 40 minutes or so. If you are constantly letting your, via your mower drive in a circle like this. So if you were to do it from scratch, you're looking at about seven and a half hours from a 0% account to get to 100%. However, as you saw, we're about halfway, so you're looking at about three to three and a half hours that you're gonna drive into a circle and then come back. Um, I would check every two hours or so. You make sure you have filled up your fuel and all that fun stuff so that you're not gonna be running out. <laughs> Well, that's all you're going to do. Once you get the circle set up, you're going to just let the account and let the mower go and drive in a circle, and you can return at any time. Now, the important thing is you're not going to be able to just go in and say, oh, hey, we went up a percent. The miles, just like the valuables and many of the other achievements that have popped for us, they don't register until we go past the post-contract screen. So you can drive in a circle, but you won't get credit for it until you finish the contract or end it. You don't actually have to mow. You can uh, just drive on to the ramp back here. I'm a little off center, so driving is difficult. But you'll get this notice that says, are you sure you want to exit the contract? Doing so will lead to a loss of earnings. You can hit yes hit A again, and when we go through, you're going to see we didn't get any money hardly from anyone. But when we go through and you go back in here, you'll see not only did we get credit for completing another contract, even though we didn't do anything, we got another tick in the total of 100 miles. Now that doesn't happen until after you finish your contract, which is why I recommend using the 40 minutes per 10% to try to estimate how much how long you need to leave the vehicle spinning in a circle. Um, obviously, the, it's not absolutely perfect. That was just an estimate that worked for me. I was like 88% or something like that. And when I came back after 40 minutes, it was 98%. So um, that's kind of a, a soft estimate of how long you're going to have to be so you can come back and check on it the fuel should last you a couple of hours if you refill before you start the contract but you you can just come back if you run out of fuel you can press b or hold b to jump off the mower and refuel and you could restart by using a rubber band and leaning the controller back against the couch again and just let it go again and again as many times as you need to grind out your final miles um, that's really the only other uh, contract we're going to be mowing anything for. From this point on, um, we're basically done. So that's why I wanted to cover it now, because uh, that contract showed up on our weekly thing, and we don't really need to do anything right now for the next week or so.
I realize that's a little bit confusing. I, I probably could have worded that a little better, but I... Um, I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm looking something up real quick. I will go over that briefly again when uh, we get to the end of our career mode, just so that Just so that you're aware uh, of being able to do it again when we get to the end. Because we're going to get to a point where we only have like two or three story mode achievements left. And uh, you're just going to be skipping each week instead of doing any mowing yourself. And that's the point where you should keep an eye out for that contract so that you can grind out the, uh, the last remaining miles for yourself. I'm sorry. That's That was a mess of a run-on sentence and explanation there but as before just select your contracts again make sure that you are going to keep your projected earnings uh when they add to your total under sixteen thousand. at uh it takes a week for your first loan payment to be due so if you get between sixteen and seventeen thousand, stop doing any contracts but for now we're in good shape you can do what we did on the rowley manor where we just entered the contract and went back to the uh, trailer and finished. With litter contracts, um, you can actually just run back to the van and hit A, and that will finish the contract immediately. But for the time being, uh, continue doing your contracts, and I will rejoin you when we're done. And we're done. I think what I might just end up doing is making this video a little bit longer and finishing everything off. We don't have a whole lot left. Something else you might have to keep an eye on. You'll notice our... Although they, they did finally come back today, our employees have, especially the one we've had the longest, started taking a ton of vacation time in six day, sick days. Um, I don't know if this was patched, but eventually my employees just started disappearing permanently. They'd go on vacation and never come back. Um, and I don't know, again, if this is something that they've patched, because I haven't gone that far into the game since they patched it. But I am getting concerned, because, uh, once again... Sorry. Once again, our um, our employee was on vacation for like a week, and then like three days before that, he was sick, and then he was out sick again before that, and that's kind of a concern. If that starts to happen, your employee may start going on permanent vacation, and I'm just going to start doing the litter contract while talking, but... Um, if that happens, at this point, you don't need to keep your employees anymore. If you start to notice that they've gone on permanent vacation or they're taking a ton of sick days and you can't use them often like you were before, there is a chance that they've gone on permanent vacation and uh, you may just have to fire them and replace them with a different employee. Um, I've had to do that a couple of times on my previous playthroughs but with all the updates i'm not sure if that's something they have fixed in the game or if it's still a problem you may run into the good news is by this point in the game there's not a whole lot left for us to worry about financially once we get this uh, bankruptcy achievement taken care of um we're gonna have a couple more days of work and then that'll be it we'll we'll actually be skipping contracts 
uh, through the rest of the game. And then we'll head over to the expert challenges. Um, I will make note for you guys and gals, the expert challenges were initially recorded on a different account, so the the uh, 0 to 1000 moniker is a little misleading here because we're not going to be doing uh, all of them again and again on the same same account. But if you follow along with those videos, you will, of course, eventually get the 1000 gamer score. And every time I try to do one of these and talk, I wind up missing an item, it seems. There it is. Gotta stop talking. Says the folks at home. Okay. So we've made it. To distinguished rank, there is the achievement for that. We no longer have to worry about RP at all. We're done with that. It is now Friday, so we just need to make sure that we don't get over uh, 18,000. So just kind of add up the totals. We have, we're in good shape. We got Wildflower Hill. We got Parkland again. We'll just handle Parkland. And that's going to give us 3,222 bucks, which will put us below 17k. So we'll go ahead one more day here. And I'll rejoin you when we're done. And we're done. As you can see, we re repaid all of our loans. And we also actually paid our weekly expenses at the same time. So we could have gotten over 18K and we would have been fine. But as you can see, this message pops up. Emergency overdraft activated. Uh, we have an emergency overdraft of five grand to protect us. However, if you go over the five grand, as you can see in the upper right hand corner, our finances are negative 4,000. Um, if you go over five grand, you just get like a different notification about it's worse. Don't worry about it. We're going to take care of it right now. Go in to your garage and sell off all of the extra mowers that you... Sorry. All of the extra mowers that you purchased. There we go, now we have our five mowers. We're gonna go into active loans and we're gonna repay one of them. As you can see, that leaves us 52K, not quite enough to pay off another one. We're gonna go back to our headquarters tab and we're gonna downsize to the Windsor garages. That'll give us, we still have six bays at the Windsor, so more than enough to have our five mowers. And now we're gonna go and we're gonna repay a second of the loans. Now we're going to be paying 6000 each week. And we kind of just need to focus on repaying that last loan. Now there are a couple of ways you can go about doing that. Um, because if you go into your achievements now, we need 100 contracts. We need to mow 100 miles. We need the... We'll get the Phoenix Rises achievement after our next week of contracts. And then all we have left are the four challenges and getting to the 4th of July. We almost have nothing left related to mowing ourselves. So what we're going to do... Is we're going to go in. And we're going to do one more week with everyone working together. Or one more day, excuse me. So go ahead and assign all of your employees to whatever contracts you have. 
Unfortunately, they're mostly litter contracts, which means we might have to do another week or another day after this. I am going to say that till the end of time. I will rejoin you when we're done with this contract. And we're back, ladies and gents. We're going to jump forward. And once we get past all the contracts, you will see the Phoenix Rises achievement pop for being back into the positive after falling into the negative. So real quick, we're going to head back into here. And we're going to probably need to do contracts through the rest of the week here. And it doesn't help that they're giving us a ton of litter contracts. So we're going to go ahead and pick up that litter contract. And we're going to have everyone else do the other contracts. The reason being is that once we're done here... We're going to sell off everything. We're going to fire our employees. We're going to sell off all of the mowers except for the Toro mower. And we're going to um, basically be skipping every contract that pops up. The reason being is that the contracts, the achievement for completing 100 contracts, you get credited for completing a contract whether you skip it or not. Um, I, I have a feeling that this con uh, achievement might be patched in the future because this, uh, this achievement always unlocks in the middle of July, no matter what. Uh, it just takes 100 days. You can't skip contracts as the uh, you know, owner of this business. You have to work a contract every week. And no matter what you do, it counts towards completing 100 contracts. So at some point in the middle of July, you've had 100 days of work and you will unlock this contract. I could see that being patched out. And if that does get patched out from this point on, you're going to have to continue doing contracts. Now, you can handle that however you would like. You can do litter contracts. You can do mowing contracts. Mowing contracts would also help you work towards the 100 miles actively instead of setting a controller aside. So if that's what you want to do, go for it. But for the sake of the current version of the game, we are going to be skipping ahead not only for the 100 contracts, but because one of these secret achievements, I can't remember which one it is, is for mowing on the 4th of July with an American mower. And as I've mentioned before, the 4th of July in your first year is on a Sunday. So you have to skip ahead an entire year to try to get that achievement. And I'm going to be showing you how to do that at the end of this video, although this one's gone incredibly long already. I probably should have stopped it. So once you have your contracts figured out, just go ahead and jump in. I'll rejoin you when we're done. We're back in. We're going to do one more week. Of doing the financials here. And I'll rejoin you when we're done. Another day's work down. And as I said, we're just going to continue doing this through the end of the week. Have your... Keep up on your maintenance as well. Although, to be fair, at this point, you might just be able to sell them off and buy new ones, but...
Okay. One more day of work to go. And we're back. We'll tackle the litter contract and everyone else gets to do all the other contracts. And again, we're just trying to build up our finances a little bit. Because we're going to basically burn the entire thing to the ground soon. I'll be back when I'm done. And I'm back. You're probably sick of me saying that. So at this point, if we go to our loans, we have to pay exactly 50k off. What we're going to do is sell off all of our mowers We're going to fire all of our employees. And we're going to go over to headquarters and we're going to purchase the red wall building. Reason being, now we can go back and pay off our final loan. That leaves us $14,000. That gives us a good amount to cover any monthly, weekly expenses as well as taking care of our mower if we are using it for contracts at all over the coming weeks. So here we are, ladies and gents. We have to complete 100 contracts, drive 100 miles, and mow on the 4th of July. In order to do that, we are going to start skipping contracts over and over and over again. Now, what I recommend doing is just choosing whatever the first contract is and skipping it. Now, litter contracts, and this is kind of a personal preference, litter contracts do tend to be significantly faster to skip. So you can go through the trouble of finding a litter contract, or you can just pick the very first contract you want. In order to skip a litter contract, you just jump in, load everything up, and now that we only have one employee, it'll automatically allow us to start after we choose our, uh, our person, which is one of the reasons we fire all the other employees. But the second you start, just turn around, hit the A button, exit the contract and you're done and just so we're clear you can see we're at 70 percent for the contracts and now that we've gone past we're up to 71. so now that we don't have any other employees the second we choose our contract it will allow us to skip to start we can just hit the A button after we picked everything else. And that's how you're going to continue to skip weekly contracts over and over and over again. For mowing, you pop in, look at your mower, hit A, and hit A to skip the check. Hold the X button, hit the right, hit right on the D-pad, drive forward so that your tires go past this second line on the trailer there. You see that, like, bolt line of bolts across the trailer? Just drive Pass that and back up, and that will be enough to prompt the exit contract. Go ahead and hit A and skip past everything. And there we go. And as you can see, we're up to 72%. And that's how you're going to do. You are going to skip contracts. Uh, up until like the middle of July is when you'll get the 100 contracts achievement. So I'm going to 
uh, show you how to skip each type of contract one more time. Hopefully. Hopefully another litter contract will show up. So for mowing po contracts, pick your contract, start, look at your mower, hit A, hit A again, hold X, right on the D-pad, drive forward, then back up, hit A to exit the contract, A to confirm, and you're good to go. And that's all you're going to be doing over and over and over again. And we didn't get another litter contract, but litter contracts are even easier. All you have to do is jump in, press A, and turn around and press A on the door for like five seconds, and that will skip the contract. And this is all you are going to be doing, ladies and gentlemen, for the foreseeable future, in all honesty. Um, there is no more hands-on mowing you have to do now again if for some reason this does not give you any percents in skipping ahead for the complete 100 contracts achievement then you're gonna have to actually complete contracts as we had been doing throughout enti our entire playthrough that's probably gonna add another two to three hours uh, onto your playtime um, but you can just do litter contracts and do the cheap or quickest mowing contracts and it won't hurt that you're doing contracts and getting some extra money coming in uh, to cover your repairs and weekly and monthly uh, expenses. But as far as um, if skipping ahead still does work, this is all you're going to be doing for the next month or so. Um, let me just see if a litter contract is here. Nope. Okay. So what I'm going to do, ladies and gents, is we're going to just continue skipping forward until the middle of July or so. And I will pop back in and let you know right before the achievement pops. Hey, so I forgot to mention something that it's not really a big deal. But when you come out here... Just kind of to prove my point. You'll see, we were on Monday the 5th of July, just to prove that the 4th of July is on a Sunday. So we have to skip ahead an entire year's worth of contracts. Um, what that means is you have to skip all the way through the end of September, and it will skip ahead to March of 2022, and then you'll have to skip all the way to July uh, 4th of 2022. Um, in order to do that, you have a lot of skipping. It's probably going to take you about an hour and a half from this point to skip to that point. Just so you have kind of an idea of what you're doing. If you really get good at it, you could probably skip ahead within an hour. Um, but you're going to be doing literally what we've been doing over and over again. Just skipping forward every week. So we still got a couple more days. I'll rejoin you and we're at the 100 contracts mark. Hello there, ladies and gents. We just have one more skip here. And there you go. In it for the long haul, getting 100 or completing 100 contracts. So the last two career achievements we have are for driving a total of 100 miles and for mowing a contract with an American mower on the 4th of July. So what we're going to be focusing on now, as I said in the previous segment here, is we just need to skip ahead to the 4th of July of 2022. This is going to take you between an hour to an hour and a half, depending on how quick you are. But when you are there, I, well, when I'm there, I'll rejoin you in the video and feel free to catch up whenever you want. Hello there, ladies and gents. I decided to pop in here because in the midst of your skipping to the 4th of July, it's not a bad idea to take care of your 100 miles achievement since you're skipping ahead anyways. If you do happen to run into the rear garden at Rally Manor, once again, I'm going to show you exactly what you should do. 
because uh, it might be difficult to skip ahead to get this done at the end when you get to after the 4th of July. So um, I'm just going to show you right now. You can skip the ground check, start up the vehicle, go into whatever mode you want and drive all the way down. You don't need to engage the blades. You don't need to um, drop your deck. You just need to rubber band the accelerator and then rest your controller up against something. I use my couch. You could use another rubber band if you have two. And you just need to let your controller kind of spin or uh, let your vehicle kind of spin. Uh, you don't want the circles to be too tight because you'll damage the lawn. But once you get a good angle, it will continue to spin in a circle like this. And you're just going to let it go. Um, if you go into your achievement percentage, you'll see we're at 49%. It takes about 40 minutes to go up 10%. So um, that's how you're going to estimate what you're going to do. It takes about, we for us it would take you know, about three hours of grinding at this point to get us those last couple of uh, percentage points. So if that's what you want to do, feel free to do it now. You can do it after the 4th of July achievement, whatever you want to do. Just want to keep drilling this into you guys and gals so you know how to handle that last achievement. And then, uh, <clears throat> just like many of the other achievements in the game, you don't get progress for it until you finish the contract. So, in this case, just drive onto the ramp and hit A to exit the contract, and then you have to get past the post-contract screen. And you will get credit for any percentage that you went up. We didn't drive enough, I don't think, to go up a percent there, but um, that's how you're going to handle the 100 miles achievement, and I will go back to skipping and be back with you on the 4th of July. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Probably going to sound a little weird, because for, for you, no time has really passed, but for me, it's been a little bit over an hour. Stop to do some other things while I was skipping ahead here. But as you'll see in the upper right hand corner, ladies and gents, it's Monday, the 4th of July of 2022. So I recommend just finding whatever the quickest contract that remains for you might be. We have the Rally Manor, so we're going to take that one. Make sure you are using a Toro motor or a Skag mower. Uh, I've only used a Toro motor to unlock it in my seven runs, so I assume a skag will work, but I've used the Toro, and we're going to go ahead and jump in, and when we're done, we, I will rejoin you. I do recommend making sure you do the ground check on this one, just to make sure that you do everything 100%, So, but don't worry about penalties or fines. Just go ahead, do the ground check, mow the lawn, and I will return to you. Five minutes later, we're done, ladies and gents. Rolling up onto the ramp. Jumping forward. And unlocking the lawn on the 4th of July achievement for using an American-made mower to complete a contract on the 4th of July. We take a look at our achievement list, ladies and gents. We have the total of 100 miles driven. Once again, you can use that... Uh, rear garden at Rowley Manor to uh, passively grind out the miles if you so choose. It is 40 minutes for every 10% of driving. Just get a rubber band for the accelerator and lean your controller up so the analog turns you in a, a loose circle over and over again. And then just let it sit checking on it every hour or two just to make sure you haven't run out of fuel and then make sure that you finish the contract you don't have to mow but you do have to drive back onto the ramp and press a to confirm you're exiting and then it will count the miles you have driven and unlock just like the the achievement we just got did once we got past the post contract screen and that'll be your last career mode achievement we have four achievements left all of them are uh, for the challenges at the main menu, you have to go through and complete all nine challenges. I have videos on my channel and in the playlist on YouTube that will show you how to get 
and complete all of the challenges. Um, the amateur and professional ones don't come with any text, but the expert challenges uh, do have some text tips as well. Uh, on my website, if you are so inclined, it's a lagwalkthroughs.com. But that's going to be it for me, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to pass it on over to the challenge video to finish off your 1000G in the From 0 to 1000 series of Lawn Mowing Simulator. Um, I will not be updating this again if there are any more major updates that come up with the game. This was... Uh, quite a hassle to have to re-record everything so i'll probably just drop another video um annotating the changes in the future but uh i hope it helped give the challenges a shot as i said i have videos showing me completing all of them so you can use them to your advantage and if you have any questions or comments for me as always let me know down below and i'll do my best to answer them but if not i will see you guys next time